Good morning, Asadil Fasal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a view of the European markets for uh, the trading session Wednesday, 20th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, taking on the market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's see exactly what's happening in terms of stats. Uh, Asian markets overnight uh, did well. Uh, you have the um, Nikkei high up 23 points, but you have the Hangai, Hang Seng and Shanghai more or less flat, so bear that in mind in terms of the, uh, the markets here. Okay, so Asian markets certainly... Uh, uh, Chinese market certainly subdued, but the Nikkei up higher as well, Asian Dow higher as well. So again, certainly something to take on board. Uh, in terms of US markets, we still remain uh, jubilant and buoyant, given the fact that tax cuts certainly went through. NASDAQ back above 6,500, the S&P certainly back at 2,690, and certainly wanting to break higher. In terms of Europe, that's certainly the, uh, um, the actual uh, euphoria certainly hasn't actually rippled through. With the FTSE down now 15 points, the DAX uh, down 35. Uh, possibly even more now, down almost 50 odd. The French CAC and the Euro stock certainly coming under pressure as well. Now uh, we'll keep an eye on the uh, the next potential move in the uh, in the European market. Certainly something to consider, but given the fact that the euphoria isn't certainly uh, filling over or going through. Okay, so again, that's that that divergence certainly is is quite important in terms of economic data this morning. Then uh, economic numbers, uh, European uh, German PPI data certainly came the weaker than expected, which again exerts further pressure on the euro on the downside. Uh, in terms of the current account, that certainly came in on the weaker side again, certainly exerting pressure. And CBI trade survey, so for the FTSE certainly came in uh, on the, uh, on, uh, it came in line basically. What we had do have the warning from the IMF and from the recruitment agency with regards to potential growth going forward. So we'll see exactly what happens there. We do have Mr. Carney speaking as well at quarter past one. So let's see what Mr. Carney has to say. That should be interesting. So uh, certainly market moving in terms of the uh, currency itself. Now let's look at the actual technical picture now, given the fact that obviously going into the uh, Christmas period, light volume um, certainly it seems to be favouring the upside here. And let's see if that can sustain itself. In terms of the German DAX, that certainly seems to be in trouble since this morning. Okay, uh, certainly selling off. We do have gap fill at 13,100. We'll see whether or not we can close that. Uh, no real bearish catalyst as of yet in terms of that being closed. So... Certainly keep an eye on the uh, German DAX there in terms of that gap fill. Okay, we do need a bearish catalyst. Okay, Mr. Barnier certainly has um, uh, certainly interjected as well with his comments uh, with regards to the UK not getting any special treatment uh, and obviously a weaker growth going forward as well. So German DAX certainly coming into that double bottom uh, scenario, certainly bouncing off that uh, key support zone. Okay, we'll see whether or not we can uh, retrieve it and start to move higher. 60-minute chart, again, you've fallen quite substantially. We've got a bottoming tail there around 3130 and again like i said you do have gap fill at 3100 so given the fact that european markets certainly haven't followed through certainly is a potential warning sign going forward and let's see if that can sustain itself previous resistance equals support for now certainly looking for a bounce in european equities okay in terms of the french cac let's bring up the french cac again french cac closing that gap fill uh, certainly a zone that you're looking to for a potential uh, bounce here on the uh, European markets in terms of the French indices. Okay, so European certainly not uh, as euphoric as US indices, so bear that in mind. FTSE 100, again, we're still making higher highs and higher, low, higher lows. So the kind of key, key now is do we uh, retest that 7560? Do we take out the uh, 7580 zone? So let's keep an eye on that especially with Mr. Carney coming forth as well. So all eyes on the FTSE going forward in terms of Mr. Carney and obviously any potential moves here. We seem to have uh, failed to hold the uh, previous resistance equal support at the region at 7540. We're now holding that to a key rate of support at 7530. So let's see if we can bounce here. Uh, again, we are now starting to potentially carve out a bearish pattern, so bear that in mind. Any retrace now from my perspective to uh, this high of the day, 7546, probably is an exit strategy, okay? Uh, I'll see exactly what happens there, but certainly is an exit strategy here. Certainly something to contemplate in terms of the next move here. So 7546, 7550, possibly an exit, exit strategy on the FTSE, given the fact that it's certainly languishing. But for now, benefit of doubt goes to the bulls, given the higher highs and higher lows, okay, in terms of the next move. Euro stocks, again, another one that's certainly uh, trend, trend, trending weaker here now on the Euro stocks, okay. I was expecting a gap fill and a bounce here, so let's just see if we can sustain that. We are now into gap fill at 3560. Okay, one would expect a bounce on the European equities and indices. 
Uh, again, you're looking to potentially retest that 3620 zone and potentially break high to 3700. Uh, Euro USD certainly is into resistance. You've had weaker inflation data as well, so that in and of itself does support the uh, the bullish argument. But we'll see how that plays out. Okay, nevertheless. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms of uh, European equities. Then we're certainly closing that gap. That thrust higher certainly is 3610. Certainly has been false. And as you can see now, we've closed the gap and now looking to potentially bounce out of this juncture. Okay, so that's basically what the summation. European equities are lagging. Asian equities didn't exactly join in in the fun either. Uh, and US equities certainly are screaming, screaming higher. If I bring up the technical picture of US equities, you can certainly see. Even though yesterday was a bearish engulfing candle, so just bear that in mind. As you can see here, bearish engulfing candle in the Dow. 60 minute chart, so you've got uh, potential um, support, a gap fill and gap fill. So, two gap fills that we can potentially find support at, okay, in terms of the Dow itself. And looking at the SP 500 as well, okay, yesterday, as you can see, we uh, certainly put in a bearish engulfing candle at uh, that upper channel resistance. And then uh, the 60 minute chart certainly is depicting that as well. You are seeing support, or you are expected to see support at 2675. So if you do hit that level, watch out for a potential bounce there as, as well. Keep an, eye on, keep an eye on that zone there, okay, in terms of the S&P. So new highs, as you can see on the daily chart as well, higher highs and higher lows, and every retracement certainly seems to be bought, especially with the passage of this uh, tax reform bill now as well. So is, uh, uh, is all good news priced in, or do we continue to uh, move higher in the back of light volume going into uh, uh, the uh, end of the year? So that certainly is a question we need to ask. Either way, that's basically where we stand. Uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.